What's up YouTube, this is JP Panther, back on the video, and today's video is actually another uh, Fox slash uh, Disney news update video. I want to talk to you guys about this because it's been, it trended on Twitter yesterday, and I didn't know if I was going to do a video about it, but since I'm here, I might as well talk about it. Again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. It's, it, this comes from ScreenRant.com. Uh, Disney removes Fox from 20th Century Fox and Searchlight logos, and... Um, it's dropping uh, the, na the name Fox from its uh, property now. Um, you know, Disney bought Fox and $71 billion. And um, the title has been appeared for some... <clears throat> the 20th Century Fox title has been appeared on some major films over the past 85 years. Wow, 85 years. Its recognizable logo theme has been attached to the to likes of Avatar, Titanic, Home Alone... Alien, Planets of the Apes, Star Wars, and New Hope. And according to Variety, outside of the removal of Fox from the logo marks, the logo, title card, and the name, the theme will remain the same. Regardless, the name change 20th Century will appear as 20th Century Studios, and Fox Search Searchlight will be Searchlight's Pictures. Although the, logo, the logos and their respective names have yet to be changed on social media, no decision has yet been made to change the names assets with the TV, with the television access, 20th Century Fox Television or, 20, or Fox 21 Studios. But decisions are being had and, and he's talking about the upcoming projects and stuff like that. Call of the Wild and blah blah blah. Disney can still use the Fox name if they wanted to, but however the fact that the name, the remaining substance of Fox Corporation, such as Fox Entertainment, Fox Sports, and Fox News, all still use it, makes this a less desirable opinion. Keeping Fox attached to their newest uh, assets would not only be confusing, but would not uh, uh, vibe with Disney family uh, family friendly brand, as Disney no doubt wants to distance themselves from the from any controversy surrounding brands like Fox News. Regardless, these names. And these changes bring in the end of an era, 20th century cinematic re uh, renades, and it's old. and it's officially over as the Walt Disney Studios, and it continues to dominate, and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Again, I'm just going to give you my quick thoughts about this. And it seems like what I'm reading about is that the reason why they changed the name, um, the reason why they're changing, or at least getting rid of the Fox name because of the Fox News Network. Because you and I don't know, Fox News is notorious for being, you know, very, very super white, right wing, like alt right, you know, Republican, conservative, things like that. So they don't want to be um, associated with that name, so they want to get rid of it from a business point of view, and they just want to pretty much buy the company Fox and just change it so it's their own thing or whatever it is. But in my personal opinion, I just feel like you already bought the brand, so you might as well just keep it for what it is. But I guess from their point of view, they want to change it. They want to distance themselves from the Fox News name because of the controversy and things like that. And they don't want to be attached to it. But like anyway, you are still attached to it. Even if you change the name, you are still attached to 20th century you don't matter you're still attached to fox and i think disney doesn't they own like a a big market share or a stockhold of fox news and like fox sports like don't they have like a, a stock and share um are they like shareholders investors of fox i don't know the whole entire thing i know they own like a certain percentage i'm not sure about that but i can see them dissing themselves them dissing themselves because of that and in my personal opinion, I'm just like, okay, like, it's not that, it is kind of a big deal at the same time it isn't, but also the problem is if you're outside of the U.S., you really don't understand, like, what the word Fox means in America. Only if you live in America, you understand, like, the Fox News, because Fox News isn't out, Fox News is only in America, it's not outside of America, so whatever happens with Fox News and all that stuff, it's only really in America, because overseas, they have, like, CNN, I don't I'm not sure if MSNBC and stuff like that is over there. They have like BBC News. But overall, internationally, they don't understand the whole Fox thing and blah, 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 blah. They don't, they don't really understand it. So from that point of view, I can see them doing it. And also, it just shows you that, you know, they just want to be their own thing, I guess. And also, I read is that since, you know, Disney bought all these Fox properties, they also had, they, they scrapped a lot of Fox uh 
properties that they greenlit. They greenlit like four or five hundred properties and movies and stuff like that. They just X'd a lot of them out. Like they had like a Mega Man one. I forgot exactly. They had a lot of anime live actions. They scrapped that, scrapped that. Animations and stuff like that, scrapped that, scrapped that. I feel like the reason why they scrapped the, uh, uh, the animes or like the Mega Mans and stuff like that because it's anime to me, and this is my personal opinion, guys. I feel like anime is the only thing that can kind of dethrone or go against Marvel because right now Marvel is a global nerd franchise and in order for you to defeat a global nerd franchise you need something like an anime or a DC or some type of global nerd franchise to compete with. They always said fight fire with fire, rock beats rock, fire, fight fire with fire, you have to do something like that with Marvel if they're ever going to try to dethrone it but Disney owns Marvel so they're like no we're not going to have our own property go against our own property we're good and I think that's just why they scrapped the anime uh, live actions that Fox already greenlit and stuff like that or at least name greenlit or whatever it is but it is what it is they're taking the name off uh, a lot of people are mad a lot of people are, are not mad people are 50 50 with it I personally don't care because they bought it. They could do whatever they want with it. They still have to deal with all the financial stuff with Fox. Because if you guys understand, even though they bought Fox, they bought X-Men Fantastic Four and all these other properties. The problem is, is that if you guys don't know, is that a lot of Fox properties that have been coming out, like movie-wise, a lot of them, they, they've been flopping left and right. I mean, a lot of their movies have been financial disasters. And that's one of the reasons why Disney bought it. So even though Disney made like 11 or $13 billion, you have a movie like Dark Phoenix and all these other crappy movies that come out that bombed and hurt your... Uh, um, uh, your money. You know, your... Uh, your box office and things like that so you have to deal with the financial baggage of Fox and also making a lot of money for the Disney corporate side of the other movies and stuff like that so that's another thing as well so even though Disney making all the money you're actually making losing money because a lot of your other properties that you have is bombing at the box office and you have to deal with the financial risk of that um, that's really it guys tell me what you guys think are you guys excited do you guys not care do you guys care tell me what you guys think about the the 20th century fox taking away the fox name let me know in the comment section below uh rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you subscribe to the channel peace and have a great day and take care